Tierra! Was there ever any doubt? You handled my baby perfectly out there. For once, I'm happy to be proven wrong. You did good. We did good. Yeah, makes all the work worth it. Trophy? Yep, heading for the podium. Join me, Grace. Forty-seven. The race is over, and Sierra won. We should expect her to head towards the podium area for the winning ceremony. Hey, hey, thank you guys. Thank you a lot. You're great. Sierra, you beautiful bastard, you did it! Keep it coming. Lee never knew what hit him. I don't think I've ever seen you drive this well. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. I have to head over to the podium to accept the trophy. Join me? Oh, of course. Come on, girls. Lindsay LaCour, we're setting up for a quick post-race interview. Just want to make sure you're okay with that after your podium moment. Sure, sure, all right. I'll, I'll come by afterwards. Wonderful, thank you. Oh, and congratulations on the victory. Thanks. So, what's the plan for the rest of the day, Sierra? I think I saw Heidi over at the lounge. Maybe we can hit up the town and try out the local cocktail scene. I can't. I have work. Oh, come on. You've been racing for two days straight. I'm pretty sure your dad can handle running Kronstadt for a day. My father has important things to do, and so do I. I've got a meeting and a bunch of calls to take care of. Wow. Sounds so exciting. Well, I do have one thing. I'm not quite done with Moses Lee yet. Ugh, not that thing again. Oh yeah, that again. Ugh, I'm absolutely starving. Hopefully this winning ceremony will take you. Relax, darling. The average moment is not. So, you managed to slither to the top of the ladder. Maxwell Lutter. How poetic that you'll be the one handing me the trophy. This must be eating you up this time. Well, I'll be very interested in reviewing the technical evaluation of the car. Real shame. The victory. Embarrassing. You be sure to do that. I'm sure you can entertain yourself with that late at night while the rest of us party. Now shall we get on with this? I suppose we must. I'll go up first. Once you get the cue to go on, you come up. Please don't linger. I'll make a small announcement and you pick up the trophy. We'll have it filled with champagne, but it's just for sure. Try not to embarrass yourself by drinking from it like a dog. Just do your job. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Run up there like a good boy and announce me. I'm not gonna. Of course I am. The car drove you in victory, didn't it? Wouldn't miss the celebrations. How's the suit? The suit? Uh, yes. Fine. Uh, comfortable enough, I guess. Good. I have some ideas about to make the sense of school. And the car handled well, I take it. Sure. Yeah, it drove me to victory, as you said. Indeed it did. The new AI steering routines work miracles on this yeah. So I, I have to go accept the trophy. Right. Well, have fun with that. We'll talk again later in the week. Sure, Dad. I need to mention the AI, of course.
My name is Maxwell Rudder. I am the senior race official here at the Miami Global Innovation Race. The race is now officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. I think it is safe to say that this year's winner is a bit of a surprise winner to many of us. While they certainly weren't the favorites, they somehow managed to get to the top of the ladder over the course of these three days, which have seen a staggering number of accidents and related incidents. So, without further ado, I present to you Miss Sierra Knox of Team Prompt. Come on up here, Miss Knox. Lindsay LaCour, and we're now live with the one and only Sierra Knox. Miss Knox just secured the victory in the annual Global Innovation Race here in Miami. A spectacular win beating Moses Lee of Cow Moon Heavy Industries in what can only be described as a very close race to the finish line. Well, I don't know if I'd call it close exactly, Lindsay. <laughs> well, you certainly aren't bashful. I suppose that's a family trait. As I'm sure most of our viewers know, you are the daughter of the famous inventor Robert Knox. I suppose there's no denying that. Tell me, Sierra, your father practically built the car himself. Well, with the help of a crack team of mechanics, of course. Earlier today, he stated that he expected the car could probably win the race all by itself. Any thoughts on that? That's probably an exaggeration. <laughs> yes, I guess it is. What was it like to get to drive a car like that? I suppose it handles better than your average town car. Grace, Grace Miller, our, our chief mechanic, and her team did a great job tuning the car. Firmware could use some adjustments, but I suppose that's to be expected from something still in the late prototype phase. Still, the way the rest of the teams were driving, I believe I would have won driving a bicycle. Well, there you have it, folks. I'd like to say thanks to Miss Knox, and on behalf of all of us, congratulate her and her father, genius inventor Robert Knox, on the victory. Thank you, Miss Knox. My pleasure. Oh, Miss Knox. Congratulations on the victory. Just need to grab a winning photo, please. Yeah, if you can just come over here, it won't take two seconds. Thanks so much, Miss Knox. Don't worry your little head about that. It's business. Is that where we're headed now? No, they'll call me when the guy's there. Listen, I told you not to worry about it. Okay, sorry. Eden Secure Holdings, Pamela McIntyre speaking. How may I help you? Pam, it's Sierra Knox. I need a status on the transfers we discussed last week. Miss Knox, yes, of course. Legal has been spending a lot of time on this, and there's a couple of viable routes being explored right now. Good. Because we have 400 million US from Cat and Yang coming in a few days from now. We'd like to explore 
the tax implications of that transfer. Of course, of course, yes. I've been asked to inform you that we've had to, uh, uh, or rather that we have regretfully lost quite a bit of documentation in a recent off-site server crash, and so we are quite challenged in terms of electronic bookkeeping. However, our cash handling is still quite effective, if you understand. Yes, I understand. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Excellent. Well, we appreciate your business and look forward to servicing you once again. Have a good day, Miss Knox. Miss Knox, thanks for taking the time. As long as I have time for a beer afterwards. <laughs> yes, of course. Now, you were ahead the entire race, and with your closest rival suddenly out of it, it seems like it was an easy win. Nothing in endurance racing is ever easy, but I've been prepping for this for a while. Even if the incident hadn't happened, I'm sure I would have won. And of course, with your father, the famous Robert Knox, building the car. I guess you didn't have to do too much work anyway. I heard from Grace Miller, your chief mechanic, that the car practically drives itself. Shows how much she knows. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Well, it's a very impressive feat, of course. Especially with the amount of pressure you must be under with the whole tongue and valley thing. Oh, I see. And that's what this interview is really about. Clever. Tell you what. You reach out to Kronstadt Corporate PR and talk to them about that. I believe they have a very slick statement ready for you. As for this interview, we're done. Don't talk to me ever again. I told you not to call me that. Oh, sure. Sorry. Oh, 
didn't you have a doctor's appointment or something? Yeah, vitamin rejuvenation shot over at the emergency area. Bill page me. But don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to remind you. Dad, hey, uh, it's me, Sierra. I, uh, I just wanted to touch base on a few things now that the race is over. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I got the Tongan Valley thing under control. And I'm, uh, I'm talking to the offshore holding people and uh, making sure we're not hit by any of their shitty PR either. Anyway, uh, I'm almost done with the shareholder briefings and the financial reports. I just need to run through a couple of things with you on that. Numbers are good all through, though. Obviously, the new project will bring us even further in the black. The board will be pleased, I'm sure. Mr. Ambassador, so nice of you to take the time to talk to me. Miss Knox, a pleasure. What can I do for you? Uh, as you know, we've been receiving some, well, unwanted attention locally around the unfortunate incident in Tungan Valley. But I wanted to assure you that our PR department is on top of things and have by now more or less entirely discredited the relevant media outlets. Yes, we've been paying attention to the situation. An unfortunate side effect of allowing a free press, I suppose. I'm glad to hear you're on top of things. The journalists we've got in our employ are hardly free. <laughs> but I understand what you mean. Now, about the new order of surface-to-air missiles. Yes. Everything is ready on our end. Financial transfer is set to be initiated shortly. Excellent. My uh, father asks that you provide a guarantee in terms of their use. 
These are meant for training exercises only, correct? Oh, absolutely. We're looking to deploy these as part of an exercise near the coast. There's only a few indigenous tribes in the area. Nothing anyone should be concerned about. That is wonderful, Mr. Ambassador. Well, in that case, I'll finalize things on our end, and we'll talk again soon. to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye-bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. I'll talk soon. Can you do me a favor? Go check if my keys are over there. The guy's crazy and I don't dare go over there, but you look pretty tough. Please. Wow, this really hurts. Did you see him? The guy that jumped me and grabbed my outfit? Find some keys over there. Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. I don't know. I love this job, man. I mean, people bitch a lot, but when the shit hits the fan and you're kicking ass and shooting shit up, there's no other place I'd rather be. I'm sorry. I can't help thinking. We had this meeting with her teachers, and they're saying that she doesn't respect the rules in class. And Junior thanks me, of course, but when I tell my daughter to not take shit from anybody, I obviously don't mean the teachers in school, right? I mean, like, how can something like that be misunderstood? I just feel like I'm the one taking all the flack here. Uh, I feel like I'm actually coming down with something. That would be really shitty because I got that chess tournament coming up this weekend. brings out your eyes. Um, yes. I'm here to speak to Sierra Knox. I have an appointment. All right. Come on in. I'll let her know.
Yes, Miss Knox. There's a guy here wearing a mascot outfit, claiming you have an appointment with him. I wouldn't give his name. Got it. I'll let him know you're on route. Hey, Flamingo guy. Miss Knox is on her way. Yep. Okay. Miss Knox, we spoke on the phone. I brought the items along for your perusal. Mm-hmm. All right. Follow me. Um... Relax. I'm not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Tell me again why I'm supposed to pay you all this money. Tungan Valley. Miss Knox, to state it plainly, I stumbled upon internal reports showing Kronstadt involvement in the massacre of innocent civilians. Sounds like a con to me. Any reports you may be in possession of are likely to be fakes crafted by our competitors. Well, I'm, I'm sure your father would be very interested in the reports, concluding that someone has been funneling money from the Palace Project into Tungan Valley damage control. I see. You're taking an awful big risk here. I could just call the cops on you. You're, you're, you're too smart to do that, Miss Knox. The police show up, arrest me, and the papers go into evidence. It would only be a matter of days before they leak to the media. Pay the money and, and, and I'll be on my way. Huh. No. I think I'll just end you right here. What? Who exactly do you... Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. Who exactly do you think you're dealing with? You think you can come here and threaten me? I'm Sierra Knox. You're just a tiny fucking sardine in a tank full of sharks, my boy. And you're about to be eaten. You pathetic moron! Trying to blackmail me, using my father against me, is the dumbest shit you ever pulled. Nobody pushes me around. Nobody! A good fucking... Ouch. I guess those wings didn't work. Pack it up, fellas. I already took out the trash. to get Sierra Knox's phone number. I heard him arguing with that Kronstadt lawyer earlier. No, didn't have any luck. Once he's done with that other driver, he'll just have to use the intercom and call her over the PA system instead. Mr. Duran, I'm going to have to ask you to get a move on now. As long as I have Sierra Knox coming in next for a post-race IV vitamin boost. I don't want to keep her waiting. I'm doing my best here, Doc. Surely you must be able to squeeze out a few drops, Mr. Durant. You've inhaled around a gallon of water by now. I'm doing the best I can over here, Doc. Attention, Sierra Knox. We'll get him in and rehydrate the session. Right, here we go. Come on. Come on. What's wrong, buddy? It's just a bit of peeing. Sierra Knox, please come to the medical facility. This is a message for Sierra Knox. Please come to the medical facility. Miss 
Knox, I'm ready for our appointment. About time. Miss Knox, good to see you. If you'll just uh, sit right here, I'll hook up the IV. Fine. Uh, will this take long? I've got things to do here. Shouldn't take but a few moments, Miss Knox. I'm sorry about the delay. We had one of your drivers here, Mr. Durant, and he, um, well, it, it took some time to get the necessary sample from him. I'll make sure to talk to him about it tomorrow. What's in this thing, anyway? Oh, it's quite a potent mixture of vitamins, anti-inflammatory compounds, and essential minerals. It's a sort of booster to your system. Endurance racing takes a lot out of the body, and this is a good way of getting your system rebooted in a hurry. Does it cure hangovers? Uh, oh, well, yeah. Some people have used the treatment for that as well. Good. I'm planning on getting absolutely smashed later on. I'd like to reserve another dose for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Right, let's have a quick look here. Everything looks fine, Miss Knox. You should start feeling the effects shortly. Thanks, Doc. Oh, and it's, um, it's fine to pull back a few drinks after this, right? Yes, Miss Knox. That's just fine. Have a nice day. <laughs>